Hello and welcome to our virtual tour of our 2016 Toyota Hilux SR Dual Cab. A little bit about us here at Pacific Toyota and Lexus of Canso. I am standing at one of two of our pre-owned vehicle yards where we have close to 200 vehicles in stock and go through about 160 on any given month. So it is Magnus, one of the largest pre-owned vehicle departments here in Queensland. As you can see, we do have quite a variety of vehicles here at one of our main yards. Just across the road there though, you've got parts and services attached out the back of the brand new part of Lexus and Toyota. And as you head towards the city of Cairns, you'll come across our second pre-owned vehicle yard just on the edge of the city itself. Throughout the video though, I'll be going around the Hilux here in complete detail, pointing out any blemishes that may appear at first point of sale, but also any extras that have been fitted to this great vehicle. So I'll start down around the front, being a full drive, do like to start on the wheels. As you can see, you've got the black steelies, but it also looks to have brand new tyres being fitted, so obviously excellent amount of tyre tread. All part of that uh, roadworthy certificate attached to each and every vehicle in that driveway price here in Queensland. Around the body and around the front though, we want to be looking for dents, scratches and stone chips. Now, as we can see, it has been fitted with the steel bull bar. Uh, you've got a couple spotlights on the front there as well. Doesn't appear to be any major markings or damages on the bull bar, so it hasn't been put to use, but obviously there if need be. Just checking underneath that bash plate. And across the actual body itself, like I said, for those dents and stone chips. So as you can see across the bonnet, nice, clean, straight vehicle. No major markings or imperfections. And as we have a look around the bull bar here, where it joins in the corner, uh, no actual markings on the body, so it hasn't been uh, knocked into the bodywork itself. Down the passenger side, make sure there's no ripples in the paint of the body, but we'll cover each panel as we go. Full passenger front. Again, excellent amount of tire tread. We'll keep checking each one as we go though. Under the wheel arches, clean and tidy. No signs of rust or red dust. Now, as we make our way down, we've obviously got our side steps. On the side mirrors, we've got the indicators there as well. Along the body, just keeping an eye out for those dense imperfections or stone chips. Beautiful, so nice, clean, straight body. No scratching or markings. No damages, imperfections. Beautiful. Now, on the back here, obviously, we've got the galvanized tray back here. Nice and straight, the tray. On the passenger rear. Good to see that consistency in the tyres all the way around. But while we're back here, we'll also have a look underneath the tray. Again, just make sure there's no red dust, no rust starting to come through on the bolts or anything back here. Very clean and tidy. Doesn't look like the tray's been put to heavy use either, which is always great to see. Around the back again, nice and straight. Obviously you've got your tow bar set up down here as well. While we're back here, we'll also have a look inside. Make sure there's no major damages. No holes drilled through the floor for, from toolboxes or anything like that. Beautiful. We'll now make our way down the driver's side. Again, we'll just check over this side as well. Make sure nothing's been painted over. Looks to be a very nice, clean, tidy vehicle. Fourth and final wheel. Like I said, good to see that consistency all the way around. Looks to be new tyres that have been fitted. Always good to double check. And as we make our way down the uh, driver's side now, just again looking for those dense scratches and imperfections. Normally you're likely to find them inside the driver's door here. Very rare that you don't. And as we make our way down, as you can see, obviously in excellent condition, been very well looked after exterior. The windscreen though, making sure there's no major chips or cracks, again, part of that roadworthy certificate that's attached here in Queensland. 
And on the roof, no major dings, dents, howls, howl damage, nothing like that. Beautiful. Now we'll make our way through the interior, making sure it's just as well looked after. So on the door carts, we're checking for scratching, wear and tear, uh, scuff marks, any of those type of imperfections. On the upholstery, making sure that there's no stains, cuts, tears, burns. None of those sort of damages. So good to see the seating in excellent condition. Not starting to go saggy or anything. Is fitted with the rubber floor mats. Now we do want to obviously check underneath, make sure we're not trying to hide anything. Again, just very well looked after. Beautiful. And same up on the roof. Not starting to sag, no uh, stains or scuff marks. Beautiful on the driver's door. Obviously the most frequently used. So again, checking for those uh, damages or wear and tear. As we can see, also very clean and tidy. Now you've obviously got your electric windows, central locking in for the side mirrors there. As you can see, rubber mats been fitted all the way out. But jump in, so you've got a full set of keys, uh, two with the remotes, one third emergency spare, and we'll start it up for you. Down here we do have the idle up to help with those starts in the cold mornings. Uh, you've got your cruise control there, and uh, your display button obviously helps with up here. Showing you what range is in the tank, average speeds, all those type of things, fuel consumptions and that. But as we can see, 54,028 kilometers on the clock. Uh, we'll have a look through that service history shortly. But on the left hand side here, uh, obviously we've got all of our controls for the head unit, Bluetooth, hands-free once that's all connected. As we can see, you've got a nice large touchscreen display up here. At the end of the day, obviously, that's where all the Bluetooth and everything runs through. And as we make our way down, obviously, you've got all your controls here for your air conditioning. Also for your four-wheel drive, though, uh, with your rear diff lock traction control, USB and AUX connections down there also. That's a six-speed manual, this one. But as we can see up front, very clean and tidy, excellent condition, like the rest of the vehicle's been so far. Across the dash... No fading or cracking, not starting to go sticky, which is great to see. But just making sure we've also got all of our books. I'll have a flip through the service one for you. So this one here, full service history. So done, it's just over 7,000, uh, 11,000, 18,000, 28,000, 40,000 and 51,000 there. So next service, not sure if about another 7,000 Ks until it reaches 61. Beautiful. Last but not least though, we'll have a look underneath the bonnet while she's still running. Beautiful. So as we have a look underneath, nice and clean and tidy. Uh, no red dust, no rust build up, nothing like that. As we have a listen to it run, there's no major knocks, rattles, squeals. Uh, obviously part of that full service history on the vehicle as well. Beautiful, as we can see inside and out, this vehicle's been very well looked after. But that's our virtual tour of our 2016 Toyota Hilux SR Dual Cab. Now these vehicles don't last long, so I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.